Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making a flower meadow in resin coasters and a resin tray. The first thing I'm doing is mixing my part A and part B resin together for a few minutes and then I separate it into smaller cups to add in my pigments. In this video I'll be trying to achieve some texture with pigment paste which is a little bit tricky. If you missed my last video on texture, be sure to check that out, I'll leave a link above. I'm going to be using this moss shade of pigment paste by Deepon. This is my first time using the pigment, so there was some pigment paste on the protective lid, so I'm just scraping that off into my cup. And I'm going to be adding some luxury gold ghost pearls into my clear resin to give it a beautiful shine. And I start by pouring my clear resin into my molds. Followed by my green pigmented resin at the bottom of the molds. And I use a wooden stick to help drag the pigmented resin and slightly adjust the placement. And I start adding in my leaves and my flowers. I use tweezers to move the leaves and the flowers onto the tray because they're very fragile and I don't want to risk breaking them with my fingers. I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, be sure to check that out. I'll also have my discount code to Deepon, which is where I got the pigment paste and the luxury gold ghost pearl. They are located in Europe. You can use my code SUMMERGIRL to save 10%. After I'm satisfied with their placement, I carefully add in my handles. And I come back around 5 hours later when the resin is tacky and I'm using a wooden stick to drag it through the green pigmented area for it to look like a meadow. Although at the time it looked like it was working, I came to check back on it around an hour later and all of the texture that I've created has completely disappeared. Although I didn't film it, I actually came back again and the total time I waited from when I poured the resin was roughly around 7 hours. At that point, when I made the texture in the resin, most of it stayed in the tray, however, it didn't stay in the coasters. This is quite a big time difference from my last video, so if you haven't checked that out yet, be sure to check that out, because that is the best way to achieve this effect. And I came back the next day to add another layer to seal everything in. After this layer, I also did a top coat to dome the pieces, and if you're interested in that whole process, I'll leave a video linked above. And here's a clip of me demolding the next day.
And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.